Israel-Iran War News Today Iranian Goals in Attacking Israel Iran is the only Muslim nation to attack Israel amid popular indignation over the Gaza conflict, boosting its image. Two goals guided the April 13 Iranian missile and drone attack on Israel. First, Iran's leaders wanted to maintain its image as the self-proclaimed leader of the Axis of Resistance, Hezbollah in Lebanon, the Houthis in Yemen, and other armed groups in Iraq and Syria. Iran also wants to prove its deterrence doctrine, which relies on proxy actors and missile and drone technologies to retaliate against Israeli assault. Iran could not afford to outsource its response to its proxies two weeks after Israel attacked its Damascus diplomatic office. Iran was not ready to fight Israel, but not responding to the Israeli onslaught would have made it look weak and hurt its friends and proxy groups. Iran's leaders warned Israel of its attack through intermediaries to minimize damage and escalation. This way, Iran may avoid war and save face. Second, Iran wanted to show the world it has the drone and missile technology to attack Israel. Iran has displayed missiles at military parades for over a decade to prove it can hit Israel if threatened. It used around 300 drones and missiles last month. Even though the damage was small, the strike proved Iran can now hurt Israel. Israel's modest response to Iran encourages neighbors to avoid war. Iran benefits more in the long run. This show of strength may have helped its rejectionist foreign policy resonate with Muslims and others. On April 23, Pakistan welcomed Iranian President Ebrahim Raisi like a celebrity. This was ironic as Iran and Pakistan had exchanged aerial attacks earlier this year. The two nations committed to increase bilateral trade to 10 billion US dollars, 15 billion Australian dollars per year, five times the existing level. They also issued a united statement urging the UN Security Council to punish Israel for illegally targeting neighboring countries and international diplomatic compounds. Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi also supported Iran, saying, China underlined Iran's declaration that its conduct was constrained in self-defense in response to the embassy attack. This may affect the region. A newly emboldened Iran has serious regional consequences. The last seven months validated Iranian officials. This implies their anti-U.S. and anti-Israel sentiments will persist. Iran may potentially enhance its drone and missile development program. Iranian backing for its proxies and supporters will continue because it allows the Iranian leadership to project authority abroad and maintain deterrence. This is bad for Iran's neighbors. An ideologically energized Islamic regime in Iran would be less accommodating to regional concerns, especially those in the UAE, Bahrain, and Saudi Arabia, which have normalized relations with Israel or are believed to be doing so. Due to their apparent ineffectiveness in aiding Ghazans, several Arab leaders have lost political credibility. Iranian leaders did not organize the events that began with Hamas' October 7 attacks on Israel. Hamas' activities astonished them as much as Israeli intelligence agencies. They clearly benefit from the course of events. The U.S. and Israel are giving Iran and its resistance message unprecedented appeal beyond Iranian rulers' imaginations.